Hello, one and all, to the starting and finishing of Super Mario Land. Yes, this is our new Let's Play. And yet, yeah, it's not a Let's Play. You want to know why? Because it's four worlds. I know, right? Oh my god. <laughs> a four world Mario game. Who would have guessed? Yes, but it is true. And this game is fun. It's not created by Shigeru Miyamoto, however. This game is created by someone else. And they introduced the character of Daisy. I know, who'd have thunk it? But this is not the land of Mushroom Kingdom, yet the land of Sauriza Land. Sauriza Land, or something like that. Now, in this game, unlike... This was after Mario Bros. 3, after the Mario Bros. series, so... Once, this, this, once that series was finished, this series started, the Mario Land series. And this series kind of went back to what the original did, was have the Fire Flower... If you have the Fire Flower and get hit, you revert back to small Mario, not the original Mario. I know, kind of jerkish, but that's how old games were. So as we get done with this world here, yay! That was Birabuto Kingdom. This world is named Birabuto Kingdom, as I believe. And it's an easy world. World 1, you shouldn't be dying in. It takes you no time at all. And it's really not that hard. Yes! Oh my god, that was lucky. Now, this is another thing in this game. You get bonus games, and that's if you reach the top. And this game, I must say, is sort of hard. It's not the hardest thing in the world. It's not as hard as, say, Mario Bros. 3, and yes, that game is very hard. I have tried it recently. But, um... This game is some... It gets hard at the later portions, but the good thing with this game is it provides you with a lot of lives. So, you know, it's you won't be finding yourself getting game over. If you get game over, you have to start all the way back. That's how old games were, you know, you gotta expect that. But, um, this is that's generally how it went for the first, uh, for these games. I mean, they, uh, they gave you a lot of lives. The Mario Land series are kind of known for that. They give you a lot of lives, but they do get a little difficult towards the end. Especially my next, um... Maybe during Star Fox Adventures, I don't know, I might do Mario Land 2 as well. It depends how I feel, but that game is also... this. It's much more easier than this, although it has more worlds, but it's fun. It's definitely fun, and that's what I like to say about these games, is that they're really fun to play. You gotta try them, although they're not made by Miyamoto. It's, it's well done. It introduces Daisy. Yeah, we have to rescue another princess, oh my god. One thing you'll notice about the Mario Land series, awesome music. I know, it is so good. Do, 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 do. Especially, oh my god, you're gonna hear my my favorite one in the next world. It's so good. The music in both Mario Land games are just legendary. Like, you just have to listen to them. And just like the other Mario games, you get to certain areas with the pipe. I will be going through all of them because I really don't care. Whatever ones I can remember off the top of my head, I will go to. Oop. And two. Okay, good. These are piranha plants, not exactly, but, you know, they have their own names. I mean, they're not supposed to be piranha plants. This guy was jerkish. Oh, okay. Get get out of here, Sphinx. Stupid Sphinx. I know, I remember the first time, I thought it was just that regular Sphinx, and then, whoop, hit me in the head with a fireball. Woo! You are good, my friend. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate the Sphinx. Oh, oh, I didn't know you can get hit by that. Okay. Well, let me just run through this. And not get hit by the Sphinx. Thank you, Sphinx. I will kill you now. <laughs> Your work is done. <laughs> okay, oh, I don't remember what this kingdom is. Oh, wait, this is still Beetlebuto. Okay, this boss is easy. Wait till he jumps, and then... Done. <laughs> just wait till he lands back. It's a giant Sphinx. And then just jump over him. Very, very easy. So this game didn't have Bowser, Peach, Luigi, so just forget about it. This is just Mario and Daisy time. I know. <gasps> we did it! Oh my god, it's the end of the game. No, it is Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy! Damn you, Bugman. I'll get you in the next kingdom. Oh wait, you're not there anymore. Each kingdom has its own uh, signifying enemy. Like that one, obviously signify this one, this land, that bug guy. And here is my favorite music. I believe this is the Muda Kingdom or something like that, or maybe that's the last one. I cannot remember exactly. I think it's the Muda Kingdom. Yes, I think so. Oh, look, another pipe. So this one, if you have a mushroom, you can get up there, and you can go down here too. So, again, many lives for you to get, as I'm already at 10 by 2-1. So, <laughs> definitely lots of areas. 
So, the only power-ups in this game, as you can see, mushroom, a flower. Now there is a star and I forgot to show that off earlier because I missed it. Because I'm busy platforming here, what can you do? I think it's around here. There it is. And it's the can can theme! La 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 can you do the can can oh my god this is so amazing Whoever thought of this song is a genius oh my god this is so good of the Starman power up I can't believe they did this in the game I love that. How <laughs> they just they just decided to put the can can theme. They're like, oh, this would make sense for a star power up. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, and then now we all know what the star power up is. Music is now. So you get that power up plus that, and then you get another item, which is the heart, which is your one up, not the the green mushroom that you guys see most of the time. It is the heart. So this game is very different in terms of power ups, in terms of the way things are set up. There are not eight worlds. There are four worlds. And there are three for each world, right? Which greatly differs from the Mario Bros. Mario Brothers 3. Except it kind of like goes back to Mario Bros. 2 where it had like three for each world. But there were seven that time. Oh. And this is, oh my god, these guys are basically Koopas. But you can't take their shells because they explode. Yeah, very, very jerkish. Okay. Hey, guys. Do, do, do. Oh my god, I just love this music. <laughs> As I said, you're gonna see me like humming to it most of the time, especially in this and Mario Land 2. Oh, it's so good. The music is just amazing. I hate these. These enemies are so annoying. Those Koopa exploding shells. I hate them. Oh my god. What a thought of them are just. That was just extremely jerky. So I remember the first time I played this, I mean, I was used to the Mario World thing. Well, the whole Mario World concept, so I was busy. I'm like, how can I pick this up? Oh, oh, they explode? What? Yeah, that was... <laughs> that was a good day. Okay, this one, if you can time it right, you can get on top of this ledge without having to go up those things. And... There you go! Woo! Muda Kingdom is almost done. So this is World 2-2. See, this game flies by really fast. Unlike the... Per unlike the uh, successor, uh, Mario Land 2, it will take more time. So this one I'll consider like a Let's Play special. And this is another thing awesome with this game. You're in a submarine! And you can just shoot stuff! Awesome! <laughs> I hate those. Yeah, I thought those fish. I hate those fish. Basically, this kingdom is like a water kingdom, supposedly. Because you have jumping seahorses out of nowhere. Then you have fish that are trying to hunt you down. And you have octopuses as well. If I can get them to show you, damn it. That's okay. Oh, good, good. And I won't be doing any cutting in this, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Probably towards the end, because, I'm not gonna lie to you, this game isn't easy, but the final boss is kinda hard. <laughs> it could take someone a long time to do it. Okay, yeah, this was originally on the Game Boy, the original Game Boy, yeah. I used to be really good at this game when I was a kid. I found I was actually very good at platformers when I was a kid. And then as I grew older, I steadily got worse at them. I don't know why. It just, it did. I remember I picked this game up like only a couple of days ago when I started to play it again I was failing hard and then after about my second time playing it then I started to get the hang of it it's <laughs> I just realized like as a kid I did this in one try this whole game it was easy and here you get the coin spelling out Mario how nice is that they thought of you and they're like oh we, we might as well think of you Mario you're, you're a good guy and there's another one up for you let's okay get that and go all right the final boss is coming up soon, this kingdom, I don't know what it is, it's just a giant seahorse of death. He just spits out balls, and anytime you hear that noise, like, meow, 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 you know you're doing damage. Okay, slowly get the damage. Good, good, good. Almost there! <gasps> I died! Oh. <laughs> well, that's what it is to die. <laughs> that's my first time dying in the game, not too bad at all. World 2-2, oh, hey! You, you, you cut out my mushroom, man! Oh, that's not cool. Oh well, I should be able to defeat- you should be able to defeat this guy without any problem. To be honest, you shouldn't be dying until World 3, I don't know how I died. But it's okay, things happen. I guess you can't- can't expect everyone to do the same. Here we go! I think our score is now 70. Oh, right, 75,000, not bad at all! So these are obviously reminiscent of Super Mario Bros. The creators are, did a very good job, like a- it's kind of like a throwback to Mario games, but in, in its own style, that's what I like about it. Oh, Daisy! Damn you, Octopus! I'll get you again. In another time, in another place. 
Alright, so every time you defeat a boss, you get to play the bonus game, and to be honest, I kinda wanted the fire flower there. Oh well. And here we get the introduction of Eastern Kingdom! And I hate this place! Do you know why? Look at that guy! It's like a flying totem pole! Okay, that... You Alright, so you can see how much I don't like this place. <laughs> they have flying, jumping totem poles. I know they're like, they're supposed to be the faces of the Moai, but I like to call them jumping totem poles. I don't know, they just seem like it. Yes, they're based off of the Moai faces, as you can see in the background, and that wasn't supposed to happen. And they have the introduction of bullet bills here. Darn it. This kingdom is full of jerkish place placements and movements, just like the next one is. So, if you thought World 1 and 2 was hard, think again. Oh, good. Alright. I like to do that most of the time, those exploding Koopas are there, because they just get in the way. And the best thing to do is just uh, jump on them, make sure their shells explode, and there's another running totem pole guy. Oh my goodness. I hate those guys. I believe those guys are like Sako Sako or Tako Tako or something like that. I don't even know. Japanese name? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, get away from me, totem pole! Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. <gasps> oh my god, that guy's gonna come. Make a jump! Yes! <laughs> that, that is what really annoys me about those flying, jumping totem poles. They like to, they follow you. Yeah, these ones, they go away. Those, those running ones. But the flying, jumping totem poles, they like to stay with you and follow you to the ends of the earth. And they will sacrifice themselves just to hurt you. That's how annoying they are. So make sure you take them out or you just get them off the screen. See here, don't fall for that. that. Make sure you stay there, wait until the rock comes to you, because if you go flying into it, you're gonna die. <laughs> okay, good. Let's wait for the rocks. Thank you, rocks. More eyes. Damn you, more eyes! Nope, okay, I'm not falling for that. <laughs> I used to fall for that all the time when I first played this game. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was just coins. Oh, well. Let's go. Hey, another one up. Oh, okay, that's close. Now we're almost done. Now you can get the bonus by doing that. Good. And these ones fall, so make sure you take your time and go up. With those like falling platforms, I like to kind of jump on it, then wait a little bit, then jump on it again. Take your time on it. It's the best thing. <laughs> All right, another three up. To be honest, again, I wanted the fire flower, but this works too. No! Oh, oh my God! This place is death. Ah! I do not like this place. This is the only place in World 3-2 I have a lot of problems in. And that's because you have falling spiders, which creep the hell out of me because I'm afraid of spiders. Yes, I have arachnophobia, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's not that bad, but... And these jumping spiders. Oh my god. They're so annoying. That's what basically makes up these worlds, is the, is the moais the, and the spiders. They're so damn annoying. Yeah. Okay, get away from me. <laughs> Alright. Alright, this platform can be tricky because you can slip off, so take your time, make sure that Koopa doesn't disrupt you, and make sure you get rid of that one because the jumping spider is heading your way. Good. The best thing to do with Mario platforms, yes, you feel like speeding, speed running through it, the best thing to do is just take your time, make your way- Oh, I didn't explode in my face, good. I don't like when things explode in my face, like a certain item in Kirby, but that was making others explode in their faces, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. I, th I swear there was a power up there. Come on. Okay, here's another jumping spider. Get out of my head. Or get out of my level. <laughs> Go, jumping rocks. Okay. Almost there. Good. I really like this. is kind of like the underground theme somewhat. Representing kingdoms, that was very close. Two spiders in one. One movement there. That was... That was pretty scary. Okay, take that Koopa. Or whatever you're called. Each of these names, they have their own names. I mean, the Goombas in here, you can tell what are Goombas. I'm pretty sure they're called something else. Oh, nope. Take one step at a time and you're done. Woo! Alright, so World 3-2 is finished. We got one more to go and then Eastern Kingdom is done with. I find... To be honest, yeah, I think World 4 is probably harder. Yeah. World 3 is challenging, but I think World 4 is harder. And it made sense. It kind of steadily got more difficult deceiving platforms, you jerk. <laughs> oh my god. I hate those platforms. Because they, they don't kind of go all the way back, and you think they will, and then you jump, and then nope, they just pull right back, and I hate that so much. 
I always fall for that. Anytime, doesn't matter how much times you play the game, you'll always fall for it at least once. <laughs> Deceiving platforms, you fiendishly people. Okay, up there is a 1-up, but I didn't get there because I didn't run and jump. Now, the only issue I have with this game, otherwise it's a fantastic game because it's really fun to play, um, the fall rate. The fall rate, if you jump, you'll notice it's unlike most Mario games. You just plummet, and then you don't have much movement in the air. It's very scary sometimes. Okay, let me make it in there. Oh, no, I didn't make it. Oh, well. There's a block right here, so hit it. Food. Let's go. All right. This one, time to jump. Oh, I didn't time it there. Oh, well, there's one death. <laughs> it could be a little tricky to time. Again, fall rate, unforgiving. As soon as you fall, you're heading straight down. You don't have much movement in the air. That's the one thing. Even the jumping in this game is kind of weird compared to other Mario games. But you will get used to it, just like any other Mario game. Get out of here! Oh, my God! Toko Toko, or whatever you are. Get away. Oh, okay. There's a mushroom here. And I advise you get this if you're not very good at this boss, because, um... Yeah, it could be a problem. That's right, flowing totem pole. You're no longer my concern. Okay, the way to do this is to jump on each boulder and eventually make your way there, and I missed, but oh well. That's why you have the mushroom. If you're not very good at doing that, use the mushroom and just ply your way through. But the proper way is jump on the boulders, keep jumping on each one, and then you are able to reach on top, and then hit the switch. That is basically it. <coughs> Woo! Another world done! And is this Daisy this time? Please? Pretty please, you look like Daisy. Oh, no, no, you're not Daisy. You're a jumping spider, you goddamn spider, you. I curse the day I got scared of you. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, well. Hey, more lives. Three. Nice. 22. Not bad at all. And here's another one of my favorite music. <laughs> Very fitting for this kingdom. You know what this kingdom is called? It's called Chai Kingdom. I know. Very, very fitting. Now, the, the enemies in here, the new enemies, are those jumping folks. I don't know what to call them. They're like jumping Sallies. I don't know, I like to call them Sally! Get away from me, bomb! It didn't work. Uh, I don't know, I think they're girls, so... They kind of look like Pippi Longstocking, but with amazing jumping abilities. <laughs> Damn you. What? The thing with them is, if you hit them once, they will respawn. Don't just wait around and think you have the time in the world. I know, I told you to take your time. Well, with these enemies, you don't want to. <laughs> Once you kill them, move on. Don't stick around. This has a lot of piranha plants in it. This kingdom is very jerkish, and it's called the Chai Kingdom. As I said, Goomba, you suck! After all those piranha plants, and the Goomba is what kills me. I know. Stupid. Oh, uh, watch out for that falling platform, I forgot about that. Take your time on these platforms and make your way into the bullet bins. Oh my god, take that jumping pit, be long stocking, you suck. Oh my god, that's close. This is such good music, I can't believe I am singing to this song. This is crazy, oh my god, this is insane. I just took a hit from an exploding Koopa 3 jumping along with Pippi Longstockings. Oh my god. Whew. I had to stop singing eventually. <laughs> no, I messed it up. Well, that's what you were supposed to do. The best thing, you see with those platforms, you think you would have to jump on each one of them. All you just have to do is just make a straight sprint, and you'll be fine. So I died a couple times in World 4 2. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Okay, almost there. You see, we're 19 minutes into the video, and it's only... And we're on 4-2, we're almost near the end of the game already. Now, the new enemies in this are giant pumpkins that spit out... It's... I don't even know. And snakes that shoot fireballs. Basically, they're re replacements of Sphinx. And here we get more piranha plants. That's fun! I've really grown to hate piranha plants now. If you've played Super Mario Bros. 3, you understand my plight. This is... <laughs> Piranha plants just annoy me now, it's just, oh, And this makes this level very hard, because it's very risky. Damn you, Goomba! Second Goomba-related death, I can't believe it. <laughs> I know, who dies to Goombas? Like, seriously. Huh. I mean, dying to fireballs is fine, but Goombas? Okay, that was close. Okay. 
right here, I believe is a star. Let me get the star. Let me get the W. Damn it. I, I'm surprised I survived that, but damn. Okay. <clears throat> so close. The star makes everything easier, and that clearly didn't work. Now, I'm not using save states here. What happens when you die is you get that quick like dun 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 dun, and then it just warps you back to a checkpoint, deceiving platforms you jerk. Okay, once again. <laughs> Damn this. Uh, I hate deceiving platforms. Oh no, okay, good. Good lord. There you go. Yeah, the thing. Oh boy. Star makes this a lot easier. Gotta make sure that. You don't toy around too much with this area. Duck whenever necessary, get rid of the damn Koopas or jump over them like that. And the snakes are annoying. This place is probably the harder. 4-3 is not that hard to be honest, except for the final boss. Otherwise the stage is fine. Oh, now run for your life! Damn you piranha plant. I don't even know what the- they're called like some weird name. I remember seeing it, but I just don't know what it's called. <laughs> Alright, wait for this platform and you're done the level. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! <clears throat> Alright. Last level we go. Eve ho! Alright, we're almost there. We've wasted four lives in world worlds four, one, four, two. Not too bad at all. So here we go. Here we go! In an airplane! These are oh boy, I didn't mean to get hit there. Oh bird! Oh, how dare you, birds! Damn it! Those birds are lethal. They just jump at you. I know. I, I forgot about that. They just jump at you or duck under you in the last second, and they do so wisely. Like if you're below, if you're, if they're above you, they'll duck. If they're below you, they'll jump. If they're so de deceptive. I hate it. <laughs> Some smart enemies, especially these guys. If you don't finish them off, they spawn bullet bills. They're annoying as hell. So get rid of them, or, yeah, face the wrath of bullet bills. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 god. Yes, another mushroom. Oh, huh, nice. Take this, birdies. And then they'd like to- Oh, no, there goes the one up. I didn't see it. This is busy shooting this one. How did I not get hit there? Wow, okay, that was a fluke. Alright, so I lost one life. Yes, the star. Oh my god. Yes, more can can. Do the can can. Oh my god, this is so amazing. I love the can can music. I gotta stop singing. <laughs> good. 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 Okay. Keep going for me, can can. Can you do it? Yes, I can. Alright. Almost there. Almost there. Damn airplanes. Oh wait, I'm in one, I shouldn't be talking. And here they give you a lot of coins to make a one up, so take, make sure you take advantage of it. So far I think I've lost like 10 lives or something, it's not too bad. Generally I lose a, pretty much a lot of lives coming up to here, like I'm surprised I've done this well actually in World 3. I haven't done as well as I had hoped, but I'm doing much more better than I, than usual, you know? Yeah. Because I was getting pretty good at this game, like eventually when I started playing it a lot, I started, you know, going on like those one live runs where I don't lose a life, and, and it, has, it has happened. I haven't lost li one time I played it without losing a life. It was good. <coughs> okay. Oop. Oh. Damn fists. Okay, so here's the fourth boss, and we get a cloud. So he likes to spawn more birds and be jerkish. So just watch out and hit the birds as necessary, and any time again you hear like, you hear that sound, yeah, you know you're hitting them. So get away from the cloud. Okay. Almost there. Yes. Come on, cloud. You're supposed to be fit. No. Oh my god, I'm nearly dead. Get, get, no, oh, you bird. Damn the bird. <laughs> yeah, that was jerkish. He just came right in my face. He's just like, oh, surprise. Yeah, that wasn't nice. Oh. Okay, yeah. And they gave you a lot of coins there, so, I mean, you die like a couple times. You can go back and get those coins and make one up. Ah, no! Okay, the last thing you want to do on this is take a hit. Guys, just warning you, there is something more dangerous coming up, you birds of death! How dare you, you stupid... Ah. Okay, whatever. Let's do this. And yeah, these aren't save states, as you guys know about emulators and their save states. Um, oh, get it away. Good. Right. Here we are. Getting up! Get away from me. Good, 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 good. Almost there. Come on, Cloudy. 
the safe. Again, they just have those checkpoints at random spots, so most of the time they'll help you out. That's what's good about this game as well. And the next game, Mario Land 2, will not do that. They only feature half checkpoints. Like a certain other game that was that I just let played, Super Mario World. And here we go, the final boss, it's Tatanga, not Bowser, in a ship. Watch out for this guy, he can be tough, he likes to shoot billions of balls of... I don't know, and damn it. Alright, we'll just cut back here to Tatanga, because we had a perfect run of the clouds, so now I think I can beat him. Ah, okay, Tatanga, take this, stupid, no, why, why did you replace Bowser, how dare you? Why can't you be easy? No, get Tatanga, you're going down, no, fireball. Alright, back here with the cloud, if I can just get through this cleanly, no! Damn it! Okay, come on, I can survive the tango, let's do this. The tango, you going down! He's going down, boy! Come on! No! The best thing with this is, you see, I kind of panic a lot when I'm doing this. So she went, oh my one life! Why did I go down? Alright, uh, Yeah. Uh, okay, I've lost about four lives to the cloud and to Tango combined. This isn't good. <laughs> I can't believe I've lost to the cloud, like seriously. Oh well. Okay. This time, Cloud, you are my oh, oh no, I lost one, damn it. Oh, that's not gonna help. You see, the best thing with the Tango is to remain calm, make your proper judgments, because as you can see there, I panicked, I pressed down instead of up, like an idiot. Yeah, so the best thing to do is just stay calm. I know that's hard to do when you're facing billions of balls in your face, but what can you do? <laughs> Fireballs. Oh, boy. Okay. That's why my score's so high now, because I've defeated this cloud like several times. Okay, Tatanga. This time you're going down, buddy. I can feel it. Oh, oh, oh my god. So close. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go up. Alright. Good. Good. Almost there. Nice, we did it. Tatanga's finished. That is it, folks, of Super Mario Land. Woo! We did it! We did it! I don't know what's wrong with my voice! Oh, Daisy! Daisy! Thank you, Mario! Your quest is over! Why, well, thank you, Daisy. You're not a jerk like Peach. <laughs> and that message she left us in the end of Super Mario Bros. 3. That was just... Oh my god. I can't begin to tell you my reaction to that. So that's the ending, folks. They just take off in an airship to Daisy's castle. Yay! And that's it. Mario Land in about a half an hour. Not bad at all. This is generally how long the game takes. It's about like 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how well you do. I mean, if you if you struggle like a game over, I mean, what can you do, right? You just need more practice. This game is for everybody, though. I would definitely recommend it. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun if you especially love platformers and you just want a quick game, then do it, by all means. Because every time I was traveling on the bus, I like to play this game, so it's it's just a practice for this, because uh, I, I can tell you, I wasn't very good at the, at the start. When I first picked it up after like 10 years, and then... Well, now I'm, I'm at least a little better than I used to be now. Obviously, as a kid, I used to breeze through this game, but now, it's for some reason, I just got steadily, steadily worse. But whatever, we finished the game, and we get to see P P uh, Daisy's lovely ship. And I kept wanting to say Peach there, I know, I'm like, Pe no, no, Daisy, no, Peach, no, no. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> as you can see, none of the guys, I mean, this is Nintendo, but it isn't the guys who usually make Mario, like Miyamoto and all that, so... Yeah, it's a different company, yeah, but it's definitely a good game. I mean, it's shorter, obviously. <laughs> I mean, we, I could do it in 30 minutes for God's sakes. But, um, we're done. Awesome. And we get a lovely The End Screen. Awesome. Good, good stuff. So, people, that is it for Super Mario Land in one video. So, hope you enjoyed my platforming perils, and hope to see you in Star Fox Adventures, where we tackle on more of Star Fox's problems. So until next time, this is Mario Central.